Right, you've just built yourself a new drone, but does this keep happening? Well, stay tuned because this video is gonna be for you. G'day, you absolute legend. Stu from UAV Futures here, back again with another video aimed at you newcomers to the hobby. It's all about getting people flying, experiencing this wonderful world of FPV. And today is no different. We're gonna be going through the top or 10 reasons why your drone is flipping out on takeoff. It's making a mess. You've built your new drone. You are super pumped, yelling at the whole family. Hey, come watch me. Come watch me fly this drone. I've just spent all our life savings on it. We're about to go flying it and, uh, you fire it up, it makes a huge mess. It's flipping all over the place. You can't get it to take off and it's doing your hair. And oh, my radio is going off as well. I've been doing a little bit of extra flying uh, in the interim. Anyway, uh, we're gonna be going through 10 reasons. I'm gonna say, if you've got a reason, please put it down below and believe it or not, uh, your comments do make a difference to this channel. So thank you very much. Uh, if you've learned something that sounds very much like, <laughs> that sounds like Bardwell there, but if you've got something or you learned something, anyway, just uh, support the channel, put a comment or a like or something like that. It really does make a difference. Anyway, I digress. Let's start off with the number one reason, all the way to number 10, why your, your drone is probably flipping out on takeoff. It's gonna start simple and progressively uh, work towards more complex or more costly uh, solutions and things that could be wrong. And a lot of these tips or, or these reasons sort of uh, meld together. So when we talk about motor direction, beta flight settings, all that sort of stuff, um, it's a, it's, you'll need to understand the first one to be able to understand the second one, blah, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, I digress. Let's kick it off with number one. And for those people very observant, maybe in the roof cam, when you're checking this bad boy out, the number one thing, please, it's all about checking your props. Do you have, first of all, a set, a set of props? Are there two counterclockwise and two clockwise props in there? So they should be, and are they on the right motors? Are they not upside down? And I can't believe I have to explain this one, but trust me, I've had some emails about it. Is your prop loose? Like, have you actually done it up and, and given it a proper tighten with a the tool? These nuts here, you can't just finger tighten them. They're nylon lock nuts. You need to put a bit of force into them. And I even see if I can link a video down below. One of my mates did make a video how to tighten a prop. No, I couldn't believe it. But yes, there are people out there who have their props all loose and they don't realize they've really got to crank it down a little bit. Not ridiculous levels, but you do need to get through the nylon. So are your props on correctly? Are they loose? Are they even upside down? You're not gonna get very good performance if they're upside down. Number two, in the little beta flight setting, and thank you very much, there should be a little tab up here or here somewhere. Um, I'm doing the, what's some sort of dance? Anyway, there should be a little picture up there that shows your motor direction so in the whole setup of the quad in beta flight is it is are your motors in the reverse setup or the normal setup it's a little tab you can tick it and essentially it just means it will reverse the direction of all your motors so they're all going to be going the correct way depending on how you set it up and there is a little image which shows you exactly this is going to be the reversed and this is going to be uh the normal version or the standard version, the way it used to be anyway. So make sure that you have the correct props matched up to that correct picture. And you wanna do it so when it is spinning, the thrust is coming out from below uh, below the blade anyway, in a standard quad like this. Of course, then once you've done that, and you think, right, I've got my props on the right way, the motors, it's all mapped up, I've got my reverse setting ticked, they're spinning, the right props are there, but have you checked the individual motor setting and is each motor spinning the correct way? So this is number three. Uh, it might all look good, but you can actually change the direction of a single motor, uh, either through flashing some of the ESCs, so using BO Heli, or you can just simply swap a motor wire over, um, swap two of the mo motor wires over, and that will reverse the direction uh, of the motor right there. So that is number three, is your, pro is your motor spinning the correct way. So once you've got them spinning the correct way, you've got your reverse part correct or your, 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 your motor direction correct and you've also got your props on the correct way. Well, we know our motors and all that prop, the, the actual aerodynamics of it and the thrust is probably not the issue. So moving on to number four, and this one's a biggie. Please check your receiver tab in beta flight, and I'll put that up there as well. Make sure when you're pushing throttle, is it actually throttling up? When you're pressing across on your yaw, and you can check this on the receiver tab, there'll be little bars that go on across. Moving across, and there's a little A-E-R-A-R, -R or whatever it is, the, the little setting, you can change some of the mapping right there, but that basically corresponds to 
You might be trying to take off on your radio, that's what you think you're doing, but the drone has it set up so it's recognizing it. Oh, you're putting in full yaw or full pitch. So please check your mapping settings in your receiver tab as well. That's gonna be a big help. So that one's fairly easy. Number five, also with Betaflight, check about your arm status. Maybe you've accidentally put it in turtle mode or something like that, and it is just not ready to take off. You actually have enabled a setting that is stopping your quad from correctly flying in the standard operation. So please make sure there's not turtle mode or anything like that on in your drone. And is it actually on some level ground? That always helps when you're gonna calibrate the gyro. Um, and speaking of number six, I need a big graphic right here. Number six. <laughs> is your flight controller orientation. Now this is probably my least favorite part, especially if you've just done a brand new build, you've got some funky orientation of your flight controller, you have to cram it in there. Um, I'm gonna put a picture on the screen and this is really trial and error. And this part can be quite frustrating. And if you're mathematically inclined with 3D space, it's gonna be no problem for you. But essentially you can tell, let's pretend this is my flight controller, right? and we're about to take off. If I have it like this, it knows that this is forwards. What happens if I have it in backwards? Well, you can do a build like that. You just need to make sure you tell the flight controller software, beta flight, that it is facing that direction. You could build one like this. You could build one like this. It doesn't matter its orientation as long as it is configured correctly in the orientation tab of beta flight. So there is an X, Y, and Z axis. I'll put another picture on the screen in beta flight. Please double check that uh, for your settings. Number seven, 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 <laughs> is what about your motor mapping? So you might have your motor spinning the correct way. You might have everything that we've spoken about in the previous tips is all correct. But when you spin up each individual motor, this is meant to be in a standard operation. Let's see if we can get this through. One, two, three, four. But when you spin it up in beta flight, it's going one, two, three three, four. So it's going the incorrect way and you can change the motor mapping um, in your CLI tab as well. But please check that. Or maybe if you wanted to swatch over some signal wise, if you're doing some old school soldering on an older flight controller or something like that, but you need to make sure that your motors that are spinning match up to the little picture that is in the motor tab as well in beta flight. Most of this stuff is in beta flight. Now, moving on a little bit more of a physical thing. Number eight, you might have a cut wire, and this is where we start getting into some of the uh, more physical or you need to replace uh, something problems, some faulty areas of your drone that need some actual physical fixing. So you might have cut a motor wire. Something might not be correctly soldered in there, so the signal or the power, the voltage is not getting through correctly. Um, if you've still got two poles or firing in your motors out of the three, because they've got three wires here, if you've cut one of them, they can still actually tick over, and tick over is not the correct word, but they'll still actually spin a little bit, but it's not gonna be performing well, and it might cause some, um, some burnouts in your motor that might get extremely hot, so please check your soldering joints, make sure none of the wires are cut, and all the connections are stable. Number nine, um, and this is where it's getting a little bit more pricey, you might have a faulty EFC, e EFC, oh gosh. That's a ESC and the flight controller, but you might have a faulty ESC where uh, it's just cooked. It's not gonna work and you need to replace it. And unfortunately, if you've done all those steps, that's probably where you're up to. And number 10 is of course the same, but instead of the ESC, it is a faulty motor. So the motor outside just might be cooked. You might've got a dodgy one from the factory. You might've left the soldering iron on it too long. It might be second hand. There's a whole, it might have some water in it, could have some dirt, corrosion. You might have dropped a bit of solder inside on some of the windings, whatever it may be. Uh, maybe your motor is cooked. So you, can, you need to have everything working in order for this drone uh, to operate correctly or the way it's supposed to. So there are our 10 reasons why your drone might be flipping out on takeoff. And I'm gonna give you number 10. Uh, sorry, number 11, a bit of a bonus. And this is where I felt extremely silly. So I was with uh, one of my old mates, Granger, back where I used to live. We built this little micro quad. I'm trying to fly it and I'm absolutely giving it to it on the throttle. It's like 100% and it's just spinning up and I've checked all these steps. I know it should be flying and everyone makes mistakes, but I'm pretty sure <laughs> it's meant to be going the right way. So I am absolutely giving it to this little quad in the garage, which was not where I was supposed to be flying it. And all of a sudden, it decided it wanna wanted to fly. And it took off at 100% throttle, straight into the ceiling. It left four little marks there where it rammed in there. And the reason was, it had a Velcro battery strap on the bottom where it was holding the battery. And that battery strap 
had stuck to the rug in the garage. So that's why it wasn't taking off. Everything was working, it was trying to give it thrust, but as soon as it broke that Velcro connection, then it went rocketing into the rip. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Definitely subscribe for more FPV related content. I know it's been a little while, there is more coming. And I am sorry about that. Please, uh, if you have a tip, put it down below because you never know when it might help people. That's what this channel is all about. It's getting more people flying, getting them enjoying FPV. So hopefully, that's my list. Hopefully it helps some of you guys out there. I said the subscribe part. So uh, as always, happy flying.